Hey guys, it's Mark from Ace Tutors, and in this video, I'm going to quickly explain a concept that many students, including myself, have struggled with. And that's the difference between events being mutually exclusive versus independent. So first, let's start with events being mutually exclusive. Basically, when two events are mutually exclusive from one another, those two events can't occur together. In other words, there is no intersection between these two events. Mathematically, this would be written as the probability of A and B equals zero. A good example of this comes in the form of flipping a coin. If we were to make one event flipping heads and the other event flipping tails, each event has a probability of 0.5, and they have no intersection because there's no possible way to flip a coin and have it land as both heads and tails. Therefore, these two events are mutually exclusive. Now that we covered that, let's move on to independence. When two events are independent of one another, the occurrence of one of those events has no effect on the occurrence of the other event. For example, if we were to look at the probability of it raining tomorrow, as well as the probability of you smashing that like button to support us making these videos, we intuitively know that your much appreciated button smashing has no effect on the weather. There is some probability that you liking this video will coincide with it raining tomorrow, but it would only be coincidence. So as a result, these events are independent of each other. However, unlike being mutually exclusive, this idea cannot be nicely visualized with a Venn diagram. Instead, we need to rely on mathematics to determine independence. Specifically, for independent events, the probability of both of those events happening is equal to the probability of the first event times the probability of the second event. Although this is the basis for determining independence, you may also see this idea written in a slightly different way. To see that, we need to look at the conditional formula that says the probability of A given B is the probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. And if you need a refresher on where this formula comes from, take a peek at our last video for a quick reminder. Now, within our formula, we see this probability of A and B component. If A and B are independent, we can substitute in our independence formula to this equation and then cancel out the probability of B from the top and bottom to get that the probability of A given B is simply equal to the probability of A. And this makes sense. If the two events are independent, and you are trying to find the probability of A occurring under the condition that B also occurs, well, it doesn't matter that B occurs, since they're independent, so it just becomes the probability of A occurring. And this works the opposite way, too. The probability of B given A just becomes the probability of B. Now if you take one thing from this video, remember that for mutually exclusive events, the probability of A and B occurring together is zero. And for independent events, the probability of A and B occurring together is the probability of A times the probability of B. If you found this video helpful, please consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons to help us help more students like you. Thanks again for watching, and remember, you have big dreams. Don't let a class get in the way.